It's going out again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good morning. How y'all doing today? Happy Sunday morning. Well, I done did my uh, Father's Day video, but I just got through doing my breakfast. Somebody car just rolled through here. Unbelievable. I just got through uh, doing my breakfast, and I got a good daily bread, y'all. This is a long one, but I'm going to read it. And y'all be patient with me and try to listen and understand. You know how I read sometimes and mess up words, but y'all, oh, come on. This thing keep blacking out. I'm trying to read, so I'm using her phone to see if I can read it off of there. But it keep blacking out on me. But anyway, let me just show you the breakfast. I made some pancakes and some omelets. I burnt mine. So I I burnt it. Okay, now I got to touch it right there to keep it lit up right. Okay. I'm going to hurry up, y'all. And that's hers. I gave her the pretty pancake because last time I burnt the bacon, I gave her the burnt bacon. <laughs> so I gave her the, the pretty pancake. Okay, and then I want y'all to see this too. This is what my daughter got me for birthday. Uh, my birthday. You see this? I don't think I showed it to you. And uh, this right here, my little book, where I keep notes in. You see that? That is so pretty. And it say, "Life is sweet." My daughter got me this uh, for my birthday. It's like a diary, and I just wanted to share that with you. You know, I'm gonna write little love letters in here to Jesus, my feelings, my thoughts. You know, I used to have a diary when I was younger. And you see my little crystal cross. Ain't that it's beautiful? Let me see if you can get a good view of it. Maybe it'll put a rainbow on there or something. All right. I just wanted to share that with y'all because I didn't. I celebrated my birthday, but I never did get to holler show y'all a lot of my gifts. You know, my daughter got me and stuff, my cake and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, I want to read this to you. This is on the Bible app. Now, I'm recording on this phone. I'm doing too much. But this is wonderful and it's long. So y'all bear with me. Let me turn this radio down. Hey. This is too much, child. I had to cut my arm, y'all. It's hot up in here. I've been trying to not run my air conditioner. You know, it's like 90 something degrees, y'all. And, you know, you got to. I meant to tell everybody this the other day. On them air conditioners, I'm telling you. Don't turn them things on no 62 and 65. Look at there. I'm sweating a little bit, too, because I just cut it back on. And I've been trying to, you know, preserve it because they say when you run your air conditioner on very hot days, like 95 and up, the degrees, if you put it on 60 and 70, you'll kind of burn out your air conditioning unit. They say the hotter it get, you cut it down. I hope I'm saying it right. Say, for instance, put your air on. If it's like 95 degrees outside, put your air on 75 or something like that. Because it's still going to keep the house cool because it's hot outside. And that'll give it a chance to cut off, you know, on the automatic and give it a chance to rest, I guess. You know, I don't know the, the technical terms for it. But, you know, don't, oh, you know, keep it on so low so it just run constantly and constantly. Because they said that'll mess your air condition up. And you'll have to get it serviced. And Duke, they were saying something about Duke Energy is pulling power. And making power outages. Yeah, that's another thing. So, like, if it's real hot outside, put your air on, like, 75 or 77. Because it's going to keep your house cool. Because it's so hot outside. That just gives it a chance to cut off and rest and then cut back on. I hope y'all grammed to understand that. But, anyway, let's get to this daily bread before it cut off. Okay, this is, uh, like I said, from my Bible app. It say, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Okay, you ready? Okay, this is a story by David Jacobs, but I guess it's a true story, but it's gonna it's got a good message. And I read it this morning, like five o'clock this morning, and I mean it really it was a blessing. Okay, one of my best friends died when I was young. He was young and strong, diagnosed with testicular cancer at twenty one. He was given a high chance of survival, nearly eighty percent. So we Remained it hopeful throughout the process. Sadly, he was not one of the lucky 80%. At that time, I cried more than I ever cried before. Tears of sadness turned to anger. And I really blame God for doing this to him. Okay. Uh, only, only the good die young. Perhaps you have heard this before. Why would God have taken him? My friend was a far better person than me. Certainly, it didn't make any sense to me and I was furious with God for a long period of time. What did this anger get me? Did I feel any better? No. 
Did I get to see my friend as a result? No. Did I appreciate all the good things that I had with my friend? No. Did I appreciate all the good that I had with God? I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> okay. People die. Sin exists. The devil works timelessly to recruit and destroy. Troubles come and go, but the word of the Lord remains our only constant. Work, family, money, health, all these things fluctuate. Both good and bad. As the apostle had shown, happiness will always be attain attainable through God and in and, and service to him. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Perhaps this, uh oh, it's cutting off. Perhaps this idiom is a good example of our relationship with the Lord. I got it. A real testament to our character and to our relationship with God is on full display when we are not at our most downtrodden. Trodden is downtrodden. Okay. I hope you understand that. Ooh, that was pretty good right there. Okay, now this is the prayer. Heaven, Heavenly Father, forgive me for using your name in vain. I was selfish and weak. Oh, Lord, thinking only of my own pain instead of the good that you have instilled in me. Lord, I ask that you comfort all that have felt pain as I have and grant their heart peace and resolve so that they can grow closer to you. Thank you. Loving Father, for listening to all of our anger and prayers. And we know that you have sent your only son, begotten Son, Jesus, so that we may forgive, be forgiven. In the holy name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I don't know. I took that as... we Sometimes we tend to blame God for stuff. That's what it sounds like to me. And... um that we never realized that it's us. I think that was kind of something that I was kind of talking about. You know, just take the rap for what you do. You know what I'm saying? God gave his only son, Jesus, to have his son to die for our sins. And yes, we are forgiven. But I think it's kind of saying don't take his uh, forgivingness for granted. You know how we'll do stuff like, oh, like I know I ain't supposed to be drinking beer sometime. I will go ahead and get one and drink it. Yeah, I'm sinning because I know I ain't supposed to be drinking beer. They say don't get drunk. But I don't think you're really supposed to drink. I think I think that you can drink alcohol if you do it in a decent consumption. I ain't heard no other way. But I don't know. I, that's between me and God on that. Because I, I just be wondering sometimes, you know, what's really a sin and what's not. But I think we kind of know, but we take stuff for granted because we know God is going gonna, is gonna to forgive us for whatever we do. But I, I don't think you can just keep on doing it and know it's wrong and know it's wrong. And you keep on doing, okay, then God forgive me. And then it's all like that. I, I don't think that's right. You know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. And I think this story is just wonderful. I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, now I'm going to eat my breakfast. I know I'm looking rough over here. I need to get up and get my shower again. And then I got to uh, decide whether I'm going out to go to church today or not. Because it's hot. And I know I live right next door to the church. But I told my roommate, I said, yeah, I'm a lazy Christian. I am. I ain't going to lie. It just be hot. And I don't feel like putting on no clothes, going out there, doing none of that. I had Dorothy McGuire on this morning, of course, as you know. That's my girl. And she was preaching on childish behavior. It's time to grow up. Ooh, ooh. She was talking about how just because you're loud, that don't mean you're right. She was talking about unable to receive. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Uh, she talked about concessive fashion, like the overlook. Say, you know, somebody always shopping and buying things. That's a, a sign of a selfish person. A selfish person. Uh, Drinking, drugging, weed, cigarettes, that's a childish behavior and that we need to get rid of. Uh, spending money on stuff that we, uh, like if you ain't got nothing in your house and you spending money on things that are not godly, you could have had bread, you could have had uh, whatever you need in life that you need, not your wants, you know, it's a big difference. Okay, she just spoke on childish behavior, and it was pretty good. It was it was strong. I just wish I could have got more notes. I wrote it on this little piece of paper. I be trying to share so much in these videos, but I don't be having that much time. But 
Anyway, I always remember God is good, and I hope you understood that story. I love it. I read it, and I understood it completely. I just can't hardly explain it, but I think you got the message. Okay, just don't take God for granted, thinking that you can just get away with doing everything and keep asking him to forgive you, and he's going to. I don't know if God takes his hands off of people for doing things like that, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to find out. <laughs> I don't want to find out. Okay, now y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Enjoy this Sunday. I hope you fathers have a blessed day. Happy Father's Day again. All right, now I got to get off of here. It's done been 10 minutes. It probably ain't even going to download. Okay, have a blessed day and let me enjoy my breakfast. Bye now. Pancake cold. Look, <laughs> not burnt it, but hers look good. Well, at least y'all see hers pretty. Okay, bye now. Look. I know y'all say don't drink no more coffee today. I ain't. Bye now.